Hi Aquarius, welcome to your mid-month readings. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always uh, take what I say as, I, as it feels right and as it resonates within your own life experiences during this time. And if you would like a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of March, I'm offering a special focused on the theme of the unconscious awareness. So basically, it's a reading that intends to bring forward messages of the subconscious, of what, ha of what lies beneath our uh, conscious uh, understanding of ourselves and of the circumstances we are living through. So if you would like to know more info about that, just email me or if you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do so by following the PayPal link, which is also down below, and as well my Facebook and Instagram page. So Aquarius, I feel like some of you are, are kind of displeased with how the divine the divine plan or the divine work as you are perceiving it is kind of working in your life i feel like some of you are angry with god or with any type of other you know entity that where you put the weight and the responsibility towards what happens, towards what happens in earth, what happens in your life and in the life of uh, all of us, of course, as human beings. So I feel like you are angry or upset with the divine, some of you, because there's, um, I feel like some of you are not understanding the lessons you are going through or the experiences you are going through. There's a lack of uh, receptivity as I'm, I, as I'm, uh, you know, experiencing here is that Aquarius energy is not receptive to certain lessons, certain experiences, certain duties, norms, obligations, uh, that maybe their life circles around. It's like, I feel like some of you want to change how things are. You want to change how things are supposed to be, but at the same time, it's, it's like fighting against a force or you feel like you're fighting against a force that is higher than yours. And so you, there's a sense of you giving up or a sense of you feeling like you have to give up, feeling like you have to, um, you know, surrender the surrender your weapons and just accept what uh, life is. And it's not like one thing or the other. I feel like both. I feel like both energies are kind of intertwined in you understanding uh, something of a higher nature about yourself, right? About maybe looking, daring to look to places that uh, you usually refuse to look, you usually don't like to look, that you usually criticize or feel repelled about in the world and society but daring to look at those things as a part of your own self as well there's a sense of you needing to become whole um with within it's like i feel like your soul is not um there's something missing here about your soul connection it's like um something missing and from that missing point there's like this pouring out of um of uh it's like pouring out something that makes you feel frustrated pouring pouring out of frustrations that's exactly the word that i was looking for it's like i feel like some of you are frustrated with how life is going basically others of you are frustrated because you don't get it i feel like some of you are looking for the plan you're looking for you know to crack the code you're looking for the answer you're looking for the way you're looking for the guidance and you just don't get it because this this is something that is happening inside of you with the four of cups this is something that you need to tune in and see where the lick is coming from so you can heal it so you can um make it flow right in a harmonious way back again into your sense of uh, your sense of self and so that the perceptions you're having of life are not as you know is it, they are not as tied in with this concept that you have this obligation to do something 
to be here. It's like I, I, I am, I ha I'm having a difficulty interpreting your energies as well as always. Aquarius videos usually are the hardest for me because the concepts that show up here for your for your reading are not, you know, easy ones to to explain, and they they are energies that are about. Um, much more than just the mundane kind of experience. So others of you, I feel like you're seeking for guidance. You're seeking for, as I said, someone to tell you what to do, someone to guide you through your doubts, to guide you through your fears, so you can find the way of explore exploration of your dreams. I feel like some of you as well are having here issues with love and relationships like uh, some of you want to declare your feelings some of you want to open up about how you're feeling it could be a love declaration it could be um, a declaration that encompasses something special something you know that ties in again with the dreams you the dreams you would like to pursue and, the, and that you feel maybe life is not uh, letting you or God is not letting you or or you keep bumping into obstruction from authorities or or um, you know a lot of no's and a lot of don'ts I feel like some of you want to declare your love also others of you will be actually the subject of declarations of love and both are showing up here as being an important rite of passage as well towards the understanding you have of relationships. I feel like other Aquarius are growing through the way they kind of understand relationships as um, as a point of evolution as, and as a point of growth in their lives. I feel like some of you don't feel comfortable with the weight of certain experiences you're, you're, you're going through in, in terms of love and relationships is something that it's hard for you to I feel like some of you have to kneel you know you have to kneel at the same level of the other and there's something about Aquarius not liking that not liking to kneel not liking to uh, you know be forced per se to deal with the intense experiences that relationships can bring as equals I feel like Others of you, their challenge is to feel superior, is to have the superior complex. It's like, I am so above this, right? I am so above this person. I am so above this job. I'm so above this life. And the fact, but this is the challenge, is the higher fan. It's like, I feel like your challenge maybe sometimes that you are growing here. There's There's something growing in you due to that frustration that may be, putting you in a position of uh, arrogance, of looking at others as, um, you know, less than you because they don't get you or because they don't get the plan or they don't get the same, uh, you know, view of life that you do. There's a little bit of a preacher energy here about Aquarius, but it could also be that you are suffering this from others, maybe you're dealing with arrogant people, maybe you're dealing with people that are always telling you what you should be doing, what you should be believing at, and um, all of this ties in with the opportunity being the Four of Cups, is that you need time to understand where's the leak coming from, where's the frustration coming from, and uh, to actually tune in to this space where you fulfill your own self, right? with the answers and with the the experiences that make sense to you they don't have to make sense to anybody else that doesn't mean that you are right or that you are wrong i feel like there's a little bit as well of morality issue here about rights and wrongs and being involved in power struggles about who is right and who is wrong and in reality this is a matter of system of beliefs and i feel like some of you don't want to become a slave of a system of beliefs, but you are ending up becoming, um, regardless, a, a slave of your own, you know, rigid, uh, tight points of view about what is and what shouldn't. I feel like you have a lot of things to say in those terms about what is and what isn't, 
what should and what shouldn't but i feel like you are you are amplifying this to to the outer world and in reality you're being asked to put that same concept more within you tune in also i feel like you could be missing on signs you could be missing on opportunities because of certain attitudes or behaviors that are rigid so pay attention because you may be stubborn you may be quite stubborn during this month month in accepting something uh coming your way that is a blessing and but you may not be seeing it because of that because of that stubbornness or because of that rigid tight uh, code that you follow in life that tells you that you can't do certain things and the question is you can't because it says so or you can't because you really don't want it that's the difference here and if there's a system of beliefs that starts telling you that in, in any way that you can't be happy or that you can't be with the person you love or that you can't pursue your dreams then that's a big question is it is it there to make you free or to make you a prisoner, right? Of beliefs, of concepts that are all subjective. So I feel like you're dealing with a lot of those traits. And if it's not you that it's the higher event, uh, you're projecting this need to understand this aspect of your life through attracting people like this, people that are, that are preachers, people that want you to live a life to, in, in accordance to their views. People that don't respect your views, your beliefs, your dreams, your love. It could also be that some of you are uh, bored, just plain, plainly bored with how things are. And I feel like your advice with the Knight of Cups is just to open up and pursue, move along um, in the path of dreams and in the path of feelings. Don't shy away from speaking love being love giving love and you will see how that in a way will come back to you so i hope you have a great mid month thank you so much for all of you that have been liking sharing subscribing and commenting to my channel i really appreciate it thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon